Joining us now is Richard Windsor, global tech analyst at Namura International. He's based in Dubai. Very warm welcome to the Pulse to you. Hello, so, I mean, why don't we start with where the stock price is? I mean, we've seen quite a surge uh, of, of more than 44%. But, uh, I mean, just in recent days, we're hitting new highs of, what, $600 for the stock. Could we hit 700 pretty soon? Um, well, we, do, we don't actually cover Apple officially, so it's, it's difficult to say from an official point of view. But uh, if you look at where sentiment is, if you look at what consensus earnings are doing, and if you look at the way people are talking about the stock in terms of um, where they may go, in terms of other areas they may address, then, you know, and clearly, you know, you can make a case that, you know, the stock relative to other huge uh, tech successes or global giants is not, not, desperately, ex is not desperately expensive. Yeah, so from, from your point of view, this is being driven by sort of the, the fundamental news flow anticipation of strong sales for the iPad. And so tell me, Richard, what sort of demand do you expect to see? What would actually motivate someone to upgrade to this, uh, to this new tablet? Well, to be honest with you, it's pretty much going to be all about the screen, mostly. Um, you've got a substantial increase in terms of pixel density. Um, which if you look through the reviews that we've seen on the internet so far, this is what everybody's raving about is how fantastic the screen is. Now, on top of that, you've also got some nice other add-ons, nice to have, like a faster processor, which means that the, the device is more responsive and it loads applications more quickly. And you've got a higher resolution camera, which means you, know, you can do more things with it in terms of taking pictures and image manipulation. So you know, those, those are the main reasons to, uh, to actually make, to make the upgrade. All right, so it seems as though there are, you know, there are a few uh, new features uh, with, the latest, uh, with this latest model, but uh, nevertheless, it is largely similar to what we've had before. I mean, are we going to see, is Apple going to have to find itself in a position, especially now where it's coming up against increasing competition in the tablet market, are they going to have to radically redesign their tablet, do something totally different that no one would expect to stay ahead? Well, that's, that's a very good question, and um, the, the actual answer is, is that so far to date, probably not. Uh, the reason being is that, you know, the competition have been pretty lacklustre in their, in their ability to try and compete with it. The main reason being is that, you know, they're, they're pricing, by and large, these tablets run about the same price as an iPad, and when you've got a, a great load of applications and a huge amount of momentum behind the ecosystem, it's a no-brainer for a consumer to go, well, actually, I'll, I'll have an iPad instead. The real question out there right now for the back end of this year is what is Windows 8 on tablets going to do? Is it going to offer something that's very different and that it's quite capable of doing that? Are the consumers going to love it? Are there going to be plenty of applications in order to entice people to come and buy a Windows 8 tablet? We think certainly there, that there's, there's, there's a good opportunity for Windows 8 to gain, to gain some share in this space. But, you know, the jury, I think, it's in terms of Microsoft and in terms of some of the other stocks behind that is still out. So it, it sounds like you're saying that there is room for other companies to compete, but so far, what, they're not doing a very good job? I think, yeah, that's basically it. I mean, the, 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 problem is, the problem is that Android doesn't have a particularly vibrant ecosystem behind it. It's got, you know, it's got, it's plagued by rumors of, you know, of insecurity. Um, and whereas window, Windows 8, offers something that Apple can't, which is on top of uh, having a nice tablet-oriented experience, you can also get a full-fat computing experience behind it. Now, what I mean by that is you can flip it into desktop mode, you can attach a keyboard, you can attach a mouse, and it performs just like a laptop. You can do spreadsheets, you can do um, you know, word processing documents as if it was a normal laptop. Really interesting to talk to you. Richard Windsor, Global Tech Analyst, Namura International.